I see a number of people taking advantage of being able to leave early. So we are going to slightly change because we are nothing if not flexible and fluid. So we're going to do our thank yous and our conclusions. And then if people would like to stay and hear the rest of the <laughs> questions, then we will continue to do that because we don't want to lose everybody. We want to end formally. So um, I hope that people leave today with in their minds and hearts that ending family homelessness in our county is possible and that we are achieving it. And if that's the take out, the takeaway that you take, that's the place we want to start and we want to keep working. We are very fortunate that we have a number of opportunities coming up that have been mentioned throughout the day, many of them, to continue the conversations. One is the February conference in Oakland, National Conference on Family Homelessness, and I'm really looking forward to working with you on the pre-conference um, engagement um, meeting. On November 2nd, in the Board of Supervisors will be, their Transportation Planning Committee will be talking about ongoing general fund money for housing um, to replace some of the money lost when redevelopment agencies closed. They've committed a minimum of $2 million a year currently, and they'll be looking at whether to raise that amount of annual funds from the county for affordable housing and ending homeless programs. So if you want more information about that, I can give it to you. You can come to the meeting. You could also send letters or you know, just show support. Everyone home and East Bay housing organizations are facilitating advocacy. I'm your county government person, so I'm just letting you know about the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> the ICPC is also planning a spring forum on transition age youth and, and foster youth and homeless youth. So there will be an opportunity to continue the kind of cross-sector dialogue that we've been talking about today with a special focus on young, young people and young adults and how our systems can help prevent homelessness or end homelessness among that age group also. And there'll be more information about that. We want to thank Supervisor Chan and Mayor Schaff um, for their leadership on the issues and our panelists for um, being willing to be up here and making comments and being out there, and also to the people who agreed to facilitate, which was a little bit of a, hey, will you facilitate? Great, okay, here you go, we'll tell you more later. So we appreciate that. <laughs> um, we also want to thank Lori Cox, the Director of Social Service Agency, and Sarah Bedford, who's the Director of the City of Oakland Department of Human Services, for being committed to us exploring this topic, providing staff, providing expertise, and, and letting staff come. So we really want to thank them for that. I want to put out a special thank you to Julie, who is our new leader for ICPC, and who, who's really helping shepherd coordination around serving children in all sorts of ways throughout our county and keeping us coordinated, and was really enthusiastic about this topic and bringing us together and making it happen. So thank you, Julie. We want to thank Nan and Beth Shin for traveling here, asking for very little support financially to travel here. We always really appreciate that. And um, we're a cheap county, but <laughs> and we have little gifts to thank you, little Alameda County mementos to thank you for your presence here today. We also have some little thank yous thank for you. our panelists, so be sure to get them from Julie too before you leave. Remember that the, the presentations, those very dense and informative PowerPoints, will be on ICPC's website in the next week or so, as well as the studies that Mary Beth was talking about. And also on the Everyone Home website. They'll be on Everyone Home's website, and maybe other websites will have links to them, but they will at least be those two places. Um, and we will also be compiling the notes from the, comp from the forum today and passing them on to people like me in different cities and counties to the social service agency to everyone home so that we can look at how in our work can we integrate some of these and move them forward on the ground. You'll also be receiving an email with a survey, as Julie mentioned earlier, and who's standing here to say, make sure they tell, you tell them about the survey. So we really would appreciate it if you would fill that out and let us know, give us feedback on how it went, what worked for you, what didn't, because the ICPC does two forums a year. Unfortunately, they don't all focus on homelessness or housing, but no, they all focus on critical issues affecting children, and we want to make sure that they're 
forums that meet your needs and that will bring you in to have these kinds of conversations. There's also a number of volunteers, people who volunteered to help collect the questions, staff the booth and um, the registration table, you know, do a lot of the work to bring it together, including as um, Julie thanked previously, they didn't exactly volunteer, but Lauren and Emily from ICPC and Social Services. So we want to thank them too.